What's up everybody, welcome back to Words of Wisdom. Here we are on day four of Proverbs chapter four. Hear, O sons, the instruction of a father, and give attention that you may gain understanding. And we know Jesus said that Moses wrote about him. Moses prophesied about the Son of God, Jesus. And that's what the instruction of a, of a father here, here is, the, the law, God's instructions. Here, O sons, the instruction of a father. And give attention that you may gain understanding. We know Jesus, Jesus is understanding. For I give you sound teaching. Do not abandon my instruction. This is the law of God. This is his commandments. The sound teaching. Do not abandon my instruction. We know from the word that all scripture is for us. It's for reproof. For instruction in righteousness. For I give you sound teaching. Do not abandon my instruction. It's the way. When I was a son to my father. So this is Jesus. When I was a son to my father. Tender and the only son in the sight of my mother. Then he taught, taught me and said to me. Let your heart hold fast my words. Keep my commandments and live. Acquire wisdom. Acquire understanding. And as we see right here, there's the faith. Acquire wisdom. Acquire understanding. There's the faith. And right before that, keep my commandments and live. It's faith and works. It goes hand in hand. If you don't have faith, you're not going to commit to the works. And then he taught me and said to me, Let your heart hold fast to my words. Keep my commandments and live. Acquire wisdom. Acquire understanding. Because without wisdom and understanding, you don't have a fear of God. And without wisdom and understanding, which is Jesus, you have no life. Acquire wisdom. Acquire understanding. Do not forget nor turn away from the words of my mouth. Do not forsake her, and she will guard you. Love her, and she will watch over you. And what is this speaking of? It's speaking about wisdom and understanding. And as we see in this scripture right here, just verse 5. Because we know the way a lot of the Bible is worded. We have two lines speaking about two different things, but it's actually the same thing. And here we have acquire wisdom, acquire understanding. That's the first line. The second one, do not forget nor turn away from the words of my mouth. And what's the words of the mouth of God? That's Jesus. Jesus is the word, the word of God. The words that come, come out of his mouth. Which is wisdom and understanding. Acquire wisdom. Acquire understanding. Do not forget nor turn away from the words of my mouth. Do not forsake her. And she will guard you. Love her and she will watch over you. Jesus said I will be with you until the end. The beginning of wisdom is acquire wisdom. And with all your acquiring, get understanding. But the beginning of wisdom, as we know, is the fear of the Lord. Because if you don't fear God, you're not going to come to Him. You're not going to repent. You're not going to have a true repentance, true turning to God if you don't fear Him. 
the beginning of wisdom is acquire wisdom, acquire Jesus. It's the beginning of wisdom, acquire Jesus. And with all you're acquiring, get understanding, which is referring to him as well. Prize her, and she will exalt you. She will honor you if you embrace her. And it's all about humility as well. God exalts the humble, but brings low the proud. Prize her and she will exalt you. She will honor you if you embrace her. She will place on your head a garland of grace. There's a grace. We're saved by grace. Because it's nothing we can do to earn our salvation. It's only by His grace, by His mercy, by His loving kindness that we can be saved. She will place on your head a garland of grace. She will present you with a crown of beauty. And that's the crown of life that's spoken of a few times in scriptures. Let me uh, look it up. The crown of life that we see in James 1.12. Blessed is the man who perseveres under trial. For once he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to those who love him. And Revelation 2.10. Do not fear what you are about to suffer. Behold, the devil is about to cast some of you into prison, so that you will be tested, and you will have tribu tribulation for ten days. Be faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. She will place on your head a garland of grace. She will present to you, present you with a crown of beauty. That's the crown of life, the garland of grace. Hallelujah. What a God. Hear, my son, and accept my sayings. And the years of your life will be many. See, God gives us the instructions to life. How to, how to live, how to be prosperous and live a long time if we follow Him. And it's all, it's all in His hands. And if we follow Him, there's no reason He wouldn't give us life. I have directed you in the way of wisdom. The way of wisdom, that's the narrow path, that's Jesus. I have led you in upright paths. I have directed you in the way of wisdom, I have led you in upright paths. When you walk, your steps will not be impeded. And if you run, you will not stumble. Take hold of instruction and do not let go. Guard her, for she is your life. And this is the instruction of God, which is the law, His commandments. Do not enter the path of the wicked. And do not proceed in the way of evil men. Avoid it. Do not pass by it. Turn away from it and pass on. I'm going to read that again. Do not enter the path of the wicked. And do not proceed in the way of evil men. Avoid it. Do not pass by it. Turn away from it and pass on. For they cannot sleep unless they do evil. And they are robbed of sleep unless they can make, unless they can make someone stumble. For they eat the bread of wickedness. And the bread is the word. And drink the wine of violence. One can represent doctrine. But the path of the righteous is like the light of dawn that, sh that shines brighter and brighter until the full day. And the full day is uh, the millennial reign. This is the reign of God until eternity path of the righteous is like the light of dawn that shines brighter and brighter until that day let us allow him to work through us and shine brighter and brighter until that day because it's time is short we need to shine his light the way of the wicked is like darkness 
They do not know over what they stumble. My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your sight. Keep them in the midst of your heart. For they are life to those who find them, which is his words. So my son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. His words, this, with the words of God, the word of God is Jesus. His sayings, that's Jesus, do not let them depart from your sight. Keep them in the midst of your heart, for they are life to those who find them. Because once you find Jesus, once you really true find, truly find the Son of God, Jesus, Yeshua, you find life, for they are life to those who find them, and health to all their body. Turn to Jesus. Watch over your heart with all diligence. For from it flows the springs of life. Put away from you a deceitful mouth. And put devious speech far from you. Let your eyes look directly ahead. And let your gaze be fixed straight in front of you. Because once we start looking to the side, looking behind us, looking at how we used to live, what uh, what the world's doing, what everybody else is doing, we start to lose sight of Him. But let your eyes look directly ahead at Jesus, at the Word, at God, and let your gaze be fixed straight in front of you. Watch the path of your feet and all your ways will be established. See, we gotta walk this narrow path. We gotta walk this walk. And it's only by the power of the Holy Spirit that we can. But praise God that He sent us the Helper that, a lot, that helps us overcome and helps us to walk in His ways. Watch the path of your feet and all your ways will be established. Do not turn to the right nor to the left. Turn your foot from evil. Amen. Hallelujah. Turn your foot from evil. That's what it's all about. Turning from evil and turning to God. And we can't be good enough to save ourselves. We're not righteous enough to save ourselves no matter how good we try to be. Because we're all sinners. We all do wrong. We've all done wrong in our life. And it's only Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who lived a perfect life. And still took on the punishment he took our punishment he was a sacrifice for our sins for the things we've done wrong none of us can earn our way into the kingdom of God it's only through him because he is the only perfection he is the only savior he is the only one call out to him call out to Jesus for the forgiveness of your sins close to the end don't waste this opportunity thanks for tuning in love you guys shalom